Sup guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video and welcome to the 93rd best player in the NFL for the year of 2021 as voted by his peers. Guys, uh, there is no time to lose. We are looking at a man by the name of TJ Hawkinson, which is a name I have never ever heard of in my entire life. So with that being said, time for another beverage. I can only hope you are doing the same. And before we get into the video, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Redcon One. What's going on guys? It's me again. First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Redcon One. Now for anyone who's been around this YouTube channel for any length of time, you may know or you may not that the reason I begun this channel was to do with bodybuilding and fitness. In fact, I've always had a passion for bodybuilding and fitness and I still do. So it made sense to finally connect with a worldwide trusted supplement brand. And the one that I've chosen for this YouTube channel is Redcon One. Now personally, I've been using Redcon One products for a good five years. The first product I ever used was Total War. It's a pre-workout. I don't use pre-workouts all the time, but if I do, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going straight for that Total War. You know, Redcon One as a brand is going from strength to strength. Head over to their website and check out their entire range of products. It's not just Total War, and it's certainly not just supplements. They've got everything. So, whether you are from the United States, whether you're from Canada, or whether you're from the UK and Europe, you have an opportunity to head down into the description box below, check out the website link for whichever of the three regions you're in, use code T20JMC. So that's T20JMC, for 20% off your order. And look, whether it's a t-shirt, a snapback, or a tub of Total War, I can guarantee you're gonna be happy. Once again, this video is brought to you exclusively by Redcon One. Myself and my YouTube channel are proud to be partnered with Redcon One. Head down into the description box below, check out all of the information, and uh, well, happy lifting, guys. And peace out. So, now that the formalities are over, let us see exactly what this guy, TJ Hawkinson, is about. He's a tight end which I'm assuming means he's at least six foot four and at least 250 pounds. He's on the offensive side of the ball, which, you know, piques my interest. And, um, well, I believe here he is now. Alphabet of the, oh no. Chicka chicka, boom, boom. Okay, first thoughts, he's either a dad, basically telling a dad joke. Uh, yeah, honestly, that's, that's really all I can... <laughs> seriously becoming a dad myself it does sort of tend to induce dad style jokes i don't know where they come from they just do i don't know what happens they do say that when you have your first child as a male your testosterone drops does that have anything to do with your jokes becoming worse i don't know anyway let's go a chicka chicka wow wow Great job, man. You're a beast. Best of luck, man. Real beast. Deep out there. Stafford to Hawkinson. Here we go. Hawkinson. He looks lean, actually. I'm not going to say... I'm not going to say he's the biggest. But as we see right here, he knows how to lower his shoulder. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. Wants the throw. Looks. Pops. Throws. Caught. Yes. Touchdown. You know what? You know what? Being an offensive player... And due to the fact I haven't looked up any stats recently, I think we owe him a bit of a a bit of an analysis. Let's analyze these stats. Thomas James Hawkinson, aka TJ, is an American football tight end for the Detroit Lions. He was drafted pick number eight of the first round of the 2019 draft. He made the Pro Bowl last year. Um, and lo and behold, he's made it to the top 100. He's 24 years of age, six foot five. 250 pounds is that not exactly what i predicted um quite possibly 4.7 second 40 yard dash at six foot five and 250 pounds 37 and a half inch vertical jump that's 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 almost 40 inches guys that's that's ridiculous 10 foot three on the broad jump i probably would have expected a couple more inches and 17 reps on the bench now that for any man in any position is impressive. Guys, I tell you what, this TJ Hawkinson from what I've from what I've seen so far really is a beast. Um, he played college football for the Iowa Hawkeyes 
And in 2018, he was awarded the John Mackey Award as the nation's top tight end in college football. Well, there you go. And then he went eighth pick overall. Not bad, not bad at all. Down to Detroit Lions, TJ Hawkinson. I'm not going to say that it would be too often that a tight end would be picked up that early in the draft, but then when you think about it, yes, this year there was a tight end picked up in the top five. Kyle Pitts. And looking at both of their stats, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Kyle Pitts, as a rookie, finds himself on this list next year. Best of luck to the both of them. But this video is about Hawkinson. And Hawkinson's having himself a day. I don't know too much about him. All I know about him is he's a freak. <laughs> well, well, that's all you really need to know. He plays for the Lions. Not only a freak, but he looks like the oversized version of Christian McCaffrey. Lions, right? A lot of people should know about him because he played a game that you that you supposed to play. He can do it all. Tight end is supposed to get in there and block. He like to get dirty too. He's very physical. That's good to hear. You a big guy, low on the shoulder, yeah. just run your ass over. Oh, excuse, don't do it against my Jags, please. <laughs> Young dude that's killing it right now. That Iowa, I mean, it's just like a factory of tight ends when they, they get after it run game wise. Touchdown, Detroit Lions! Watch the squawk. Hawkinson is really playing well this year. Boy, did he seal off merciless. Detroit doesn't get a lot of love just for the season that they had last year. Speaking of Iowa, and speaking of tight ends, that reminds me. Who was the player from Australia that went to Iowa and got picked up through the International Player Pathway Program? Ah, Matt Leo. Matt Leo. Yeah, you know what? I was confused. I thought he played tight end, but it was defensive end. Same position, different side of the ball, I guess. This year as a team, but um, just looking closer. But a guy who I'm hearing a whole lot about, about his story more so than anything else, is Darren Waller. This guy right here. In fact, I did see an Instagram post from him recently celebrating four years sober. So, well done. At him, uh, makes a lot of plays. You know how big of a threat he was. He was a guy who he had to circle. You know, he's a guy who had a lot of targets this year. He was a big part of the offense. TJ Hawkinson had the third most receiving yards among the Let's have a look at this. Whoa, I was going to say, I was, well, I was assuming it was going to be a clean catch for some effective yards after the catch, but but no, it was at his feet, and at six foot five, he was able to bend down and, and make the catch. It's very impressive. 100 members, Travis Kelsey. Oh! TJ Hawkinson, a young tight end that is really emerging in this offense. He's a guy that was consistent, definitely earned uh, his Pro Bowl. So he, he scored a touchdown. Last year. Complete Hawkinson across the 40, bouncing across the tackle at the 45, into Packer territory at the 45. Oh my gosh, look at the, the strength. You see that in the game of rugby. What a run after the catch by TJ Hawkinson. I think it's just going to keep getting better and better. Except in rugby, there probably would have been about five guys from his own team behind him trying to keep him up off the ground and continuing forward because when you're in a position like that and the ball is held above the ground and there's more than one person from each side you know, going back and forth trying to force the play, it's called a maul. And if the ball goes to ground, it's over. If the ball stays up, off of the ground and you as the defensive team can slow that maul to a standstill it's your ball but if you're caught bringing the ball down to the ground so that that maul has to stop that's actually illegal the offensive side of the ball or the attack wants that ball to continue off of the ground through the maul so you're going to get a lot of guys behind you pushing the defensive side of the ball wants one of two options to happen either they recruit enough players to then push back against that force so that that ball doesn't continue forward anymore or even possibly goes back, in which case could be a turnover. Secondly, they want to bring that ball to the ground, but they want to do it in a way that's not penalizable or not illegal. So there's some real intricacies of the game, some that even fly over my head. But that was my interpretation of a mall in rugby. The second year tight end hauled in six touchdown passes in 2020. Six touchdowns! And Brian truly wishes he had only caught five. Two seconds to go from the Falcon 11-yard line. 
He truly wishes he had only caught five. What are we about to see here? Down by six, Stafford back, looks, looks, steps up, looks, throws in, yes! Cork, yes! down to Troy Lyon, DJ Hawkins, yes! they did it, they tied it, they're an extra point away from winning this game. And the second year tight end from Iowa with the biggest catch yet of his career. I really respect his game because he's putting in a lot of work on the field. He's getting what he deserves, and I salute him. Oh. Okay, but why did he only want to score five? They're an extra point of life. Looks on the foul. Truly wishes he had only caught five. Passes in 2020. Matt Ryan truly wishes he had hmm. only caught Matt Ryan truly wishes he had only caught five. Oh, five. Gotcha. Two seconds to go from the Falcon 11 yard line down by six. Stafford back. Looks, looks, steps up, looks, throws in. Yes! Caught! Yes! down to Troy Lyon! DJ Hawkins! Yes! They did it! They tied it! They're an extra point away from winning this game! And the second year tight end from Iowa with the biggest catch yet of his career. I really respect his game because he's putting in a lot of work on the field. He's getting what he deserves, and I salute him. Me too. Me too. And I salute this big bopper, Jason Kelsey. But this video is about TJ Hawkinson. So cheers, mate. Um, all the best for the coming year. It's not far away. In fact, you've probably had some preseason action already. I'm going to have to look you up. Tight end for the Lions, TJ Hawkinson. You won't miss him. He's six foot five. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. As always, head down to the description box below and check out the official channel sponsors. Um, among other affiliate links and uh, well have a great day see you on the next video and peace out